my stand right here. All right, you ready? Good, okay, there's nobody there actually. Uh, my name is Gene Brockoff and welcome to the first episode of No Niche Guy. So uh, my first topic, I wanted to uh, pick something that was very near and dear to my heart and something that's at the very core of my being and that's the topic of meditation. So I wanted to try to describe to you how I think meditation works. Uh, the mechanics of it and uh, why I think it uh, might be a good idea for you to try meditation as well. I want you to picture a pendulum and I want you to picture this pendulum as being anchored very, very high up in the sky. As that pendulum swoops down, it crosses the terrain of the earth. It makes a big swoosh, a bunch of grasses, a bunch of trees get caught up in the vortex of wind and everything and leaves go rustling around and then it goes off into the sky again. So that pendulum are your thoughts and your emotions. I want you to pull back from this image and now I want you to picture the earth as that pendulum goes by. Just underneath the surface or the terrain where the pendulum goes by, I want you to think of a magnet being installed there. And I want you to think of that magnet as the prefrontal cortex, which is your executive functioning center. Uh, In the spiritual traditions, uh, they call it the third eye. So that third eye, when we meditate, That third eye, that prefrontal cortex, is growing. It is getting increasingly bigger, incrementally with each breath, but over the long haul, it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger so that when that pendulum comes swinging around, your thoughts and emotions that have run amok and they're over there at 3 p.m. and now they're over there at 9 p.m. So the ego thrives on that pendulum being able to run amok and uh, swing out of control and a practiced yogi can hold it right there at six o'clock. Now, a yogi may not be able to hold it there indefinitely uh, because a yogi has the ability to allow their thoughts to wander while still having a self-awareness of it to see them wandering. Aha, there you go. Um, I've got my eye on you, don't sway too far. So anyway, uh, that's the first thing I wanted to, to tell you is that uh, and meditation is the magnet that governs your thoughts and emotions. And that is a reason that you should take it up.